right guys welcome back and uh if you didn't catch my last stream let me show you what we did we built a uh, scarab beetle museum if you will which probably looks a little bit more impressive if it's at night but just to kind of give you guys a little bit of an old like a view of it that's just what it looks like and inside we got our beetles and uh i separate them all by types and uh i got a few random ones but for the most part uh we started doubling up but we got them all separated so that's what we did on the last stream a few days ago of course and uh, as soon as we log in uh we're gonna get a, a bug attacked you know because bugs right i mean what I mean, would it really be Star Sand video if you didn't get a bug attack right off the bat? I mean, come on, right? Anyways, I hope everyone's doing great. And if you're able to make it to the live stream, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody that um, makes it in, drops by at least and says hello. In this video, uh, I'm going to be looking for... Well, since we got some time. So in the la in the live stream, I actually found the last beetle that we need, which was this guy. But I wanted to go there to the same place that I found him and do pretty much the same things that I was doing to see if that guy spawns there again. And if he does spawn there, I want to be able to show you all where that is so i went back into the recording of the video um i was oh shiza i was doing a live stream on youtube so i put it up as a video i had to download it and i was gonna rip um the footage off of the video but unfortunately Oh man. Okay. So Oh. I was going to rip some I was going to I downloaded it. I was going to take the footage and I was going to turn it into a video. But when I downloaded it and I was looking at the video that I downloaded, it didn't seem as of good quality as I was anticipating it to be. So I figured, you know what, we'll just go and uh, we'll make a video of it and hopefully we'll be able to find the bug that, uh, that we're looking for. So I apologize for having been putting out any videos or uh, any content a lot less lately. I know that my um, my work schedule has changed. I'm now working nights. So my sleeping hours, my work hours, and everything like else has kind of gotten goofed up a little bit. And a prime example of that getting goofed up is the fact that I got off work a night shift and I came home and I was just trying to relax. I was trying to watch a stream. I had like a, a cup of coffee on on me and I sat down at my desk and everything and then I spilt it all over my uh, I spilt my coffee all over my uh, mouse pad and I have one of those mouse pads that cover pretty much the majority of my my desktop oh that's the one that's what I wanted I want this thing over here unfortunately like now I have to wash that off and let it hang dry because you don't want to put your mouse pad in the wall in the dryer because then it'll like break apart all that rubber stuff that's on the back 
you could possibly like turn the heat on low or you can just tumble dry it i'll just you know let it hang dry and uh see how that works out so one of the things that i was uh there it is one of the things i was reading is someone posted something about these ruins and if you like stand there real still and stuff like that bugs will appear i did read something else saying something along the lines of flat territories to do the same thing and i've been kind of experimenting a little bit and i was doing that in the live stream uh experimenting to see how true that was because i'm just wondering if if it is at these like broken ruins or if it is on the flat parts with all the like brush and weeds that you can just stand there and bugs will appear every couple of minutes or so then cool you can like sit there and do that and kind of farm bugs until you get the one that you want then again if that is true is there any truth to the fact that if you stand say like on this rune right here if i stand here long enough what type of bugs will i or what type of beetles i should say yeah, will i get versus going to a different ruin somewhere else and being around that one stick these guys in here for now all right give me a sec jeffrey let me refill up on water All right, and we are off. So let me get to the location of where I found the last one and uh, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so we are coming up to, uh, I believe this area number eight. I'm gonna drop off Jeffrey, make sure he's fed so he doesn't wander off. All right, Jeffrey. Sure, yeah, you're good. We'll go grab some water ourselves. So from this area where I went to was back this way. And we're about the same time frame that I found the bug the last time. This is one of those times where I was testing out the theory, the flat area. And I didn't really find any bugs here before until I actually like started hanging around. And that's when I found it. So in the last time I found it, like legit, this is about the same time frame. So I'm hoping that we can f replicate that. And I can definitively say that this is the spot to find them. Oh, here's one right here.
Oh my goodness, what did we have here? I didn't even have to spin on around three times and stand on one foot. But we have found our beetle that we've been looking for. And it wasn't during the night time. And a little bit during the day, but it was still kind of in the same area that I found the last one. Which was kind of between the pyramid and that spot right there. So between these two spots, right in here somewhere. Oh, I guess you can't really move the map. Okay, but yeah, right in there. And now we have a second one. Let's get back Jeffrey and the scoot our little butt back over to our... Uh, homestead and uh put him in with his friend all right so we're back at our bug museum and we're gonna stick our little dude in the terrarium with his other little dude so now we got two of them That is really, really cool. So, proving the fact of nothing, because I don't know if we could have found um, this bug or any other bug in any other area, but I did farm the area right here and I found it relatively in the same area. I know the last time that I found um, the first time I found them, it was uh, the, the moons were already up. This one, it wasn't in the early morning, but it wasn't late evening also. But it still was in the roughly the same area as before. Are we full on all of them, I think? Yeah, so green, purple, all the red. We, oh, we got the yellow right there. All the yellows, all the blue, all the yellow. Need some more of these like orange looking horn guys and some more white ones, but we definitely got accomplished what we wanted to get accomplished in this video. And there they are. Pretty cool. So if you guys haven't found your whole bug collection yet, I hope this video helps and I hope that you're able to find your own scarab beetle collection and be able to have your own museum or whatnot to put them in. But until then, we'll wait for the new update to come out. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.